and television dude and Hunter. And we have another pickups video. This time we got games. This time, yeah. Look at those real quick. Uh, he let me have these because I spent too much money and I need to make some money back. This uh, thrift store had for these were all three ninety nine each. Yeah. Kirby Superstar. All loose, but not bad. Uh, Yoshi Island DS and Super Mario Brothers DS. Also, uh, oh, this is out of order, but 92 cents for a CD. We the tried not CD. to buy any CDs today, but we found one. This might have a Famicom adapter. Let's do that right now. You get the screwdriver. Open it up on camera. Open up on camera. I think it has a Famicom adapter. Because it has the, uh, it's, it's a five screw and it has the pins pointed the right way. Okay. That, that, that's supposed to be the pure sign. The is it? One true sign. If the pins are pointed on the side instead of down the middle, then it's, it's gonna adapt it. Yeah. And it has to be five screw. Yeah, I knew that. There are other games too, but we checked. I, I think they're, they're, they're less common. We checked everything. Yeah. So we, it was on the list. Yeah, I have a list. That's well, nice and handy to have. Don't ask me for it because I'm I'm too lazy to write it out. Folks are getting the first look at uh finding an adapter here. It was heavier. It was heavier. Where my case must have at least like 12 copies of Jaramite. We look every time and we never find them. I did a couple times back, Way back. Like, like four or five years ago. But I haven't really gone as often since then. But I do look every time I go. They always have at least six copies. Yeah, a couple times I didn't. Moment of truth. Adapter. Time adapter. Can I show that? There we go. Very nice. What'd you pay for that? Uh, $5. Nice. I need to move these screws. I'll put these in the dish for now. We don't want to waste any time with that nonsense. I can move these out of the way too. Okay. Uh, okay. We got uh, Wizard of Oz for fourteen. I I bought this because I I spent too much money. So we tried to find some underpriced games I can make some money back. We did okay. And this I may make money on this. I may not. Same thing with this one. Pikmin for 14. Try, since I'm spending so much money trying to... Oh, you got a game. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and show mine, too. Um, pretty rare game here on the Wii. Exerbeat. I got it for 13. I think I'm going to get 30 to 40. Who knows I, who, who, who wants this damn thing. For uh, $7, this is a multi-record set called... Uh, Treasury of Jazz Greats. Colonel Basie. Duke Ellington. Betty Goodman. Krupa. Krupa. Artie Shaw. Oh, come on. Artie Shaw. These records look mint. Oh, I'm kind of pissed off now. Yeah, it's, it comes in uh, this thing here. Oh, that's cool. It's like your stereo thing. Yeah. Cool. That should be good. I have no idea what this is. I don't know what this is, but I took a chance. I heard, I've heard of the Manhattan Transfer. I just don't know why I've heard of the Manhattan Transfer. Also, this is all the McCase 50 stuff. cents, yeah. All these are McCase. Uh, a later, Jethro Tull, Songs from the Wood. He heard it's like I think folky. He, I think he went more folk, but we listened to Thick as a Brick and Aqualung, and they were excellent. So I'm, I'm willing to give it a chance. I'll, I'll listen to it. Uh, my Iron, Iron Butterfly didn't look so wood, so I might give mine. Take this one. We'll see. Cents. What the hell is that? You bought I didn't see one of those. It's Stan Getz. Oh, Stan Getz. Did you buy the other one too? It's called uh, Jazz Samba Stan Getz Charlie Bird. Somebody mentioned good. Stan Getz, so. Jared did. Was it Jared? Shout out to Jared. I bought this just as a. Oh, I didn't know you bought this either. Donnie and Marie Osmond. <laughs> as a kid, I had a Donnie, Donnie Osmond 8 track tape. Did you really? Yeah. Funny. <laughs> so, I thought this looked cool. I thought it looked cool. Interesting. For twenty five cents, I cannot pass up Snoopy's Christmas. Oh, like, what? No way. Like a traveling man, really? And uh, the front folds open. Cool. For a quarter, can't. Oh, it's Peter Pan Records. You're too. supposed to take this off and use it to stand up, I think, maybe. Or you hang it from your tree. Maybe, yeah. Uh, cool. Like a Christmas ornament. Cool. I guess it's Snoopy. I know they. Our Snoopy. It's hard to say. It's a Snoopy on it. Mancini Magic for 19 cents. 
Can't pass that up with Mancini. We listened to the Pink Panther, and it was pretty good. 68 cents for Seals and Crofts. Got Summer Breeze on it. I bought that, too. Don't know anything about Seals and Crofts. That price. Can't, use, can't pass it up. For a quarter, I thought I'd take a chance on a single for... Talib Kweli? Talib Kweli, I think how you pronounce no. it. It's waiting for the DJ, and that's all the song is. Why not? I've never heard of him. Maybe. Uh, this one he was going to buy, and he changed his mind at the last second, and then I took it. Yeah. Leonard yeah. Skinner live from the, oh, from One More for the Road. It, it has a live version of uh, Freebird. It's got Saturday Night Special, which is Call Me the song. Breeze. Also Three great. Steps. Yeah. Guess Tuesday's Gone. Crossroads. Yeah. You owe me. I owe him because he was going to take this and I threw a fit. Because I love Tenacious Deed of Death. Yeah, me too. So you Rise of the you. Phoenix for $9. We haven't even heard this. No. Rise of the Phoenix, Low Hanging Fruit, Classical Teacher. But I bet this is great. Senorita, Death Star, Roadie, Flutes and Trombones, The, the Ballad of Hollywood Jack, and the Rage Cage, Throw Down, Rock is Dead. <laughs> they fucked our asses. <laughs> to be the best in 39. Which is probably like half, half a sixty-nine. Yeah, you're lucky. You're so lucky. George Benson body talk. We prayed to George Benson and we loved it. So we took you bought some more. Yeah, for a dollar forty-five. Quincy Jones, birth of the band, all-star big band sections that marked Quincy's debut as a band leader, featuring Phil Woods, Zoot Sims, Clark, Clark Terry, Lee Morgan, and many others. Don't know I know any of them, but but it still could be good. Twenty-five cents. Uh, Mantovani and his orchestra, Gypsy Soul. Is that a seal? Yeah, I like the name of it. Gypsy it Soul. It looks cool. Heart of the Budapest. Carmen Gypsy Dance. Golden. Gypsy Carnival. It sounds awesome. Could be, could be good, yeah. For uh, 50 cents. You're lucky I already had this, too. Yeah, Clockwork Orange soundtrack. Can't pass that for 50 cents. No way. You said it looked a little iffy, but it could be okay. I think it might play. Oh, you, okay, you did buy that one. Stan Getz. I don't know what uh, what guest star. The uh, Renda Almeida. Yeah. Okay. What's what's the name of the album? Uh, doesn't really have a name. Verve maybe is, or is that the album uh, don't company? Know. I don't know. I think it's the album company. Emerson Lake and Palmer for fifty cents. What is this one? Trilogy. Trilogy. That's their third studio album. You so said it was I have great. I had the first three. I haven't heard that one yet. But it's probably great. Top Gun soundtrack. Fifty cents. I'm a little pissed off about Danger this Zone. Lover Boys on that cheap tricks on there. God damn it. I'm a little jealous of that one. Miami Vice for 50 cents? The Miami Vice theme alone yeah, I is that. an awesome song. I probably would have bought that too. It says it's got Grandmaster Molly Mel. Really? What song is that? Right there. It's got uh, Vice. Performed by Grandmaster Molly Mel. It's got In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Yeah, I would have bought that. You know what wasn't there this time? Or if you didn't pull it out, the La Bamba soundtrack. Really? Yeah, that was there last time. Yeah, I didn't see it this time. I didn't time. see it this time. Uh, this was destroyed, but I wanted to pay 25 cents to have Colonel Sanders' Kentucky Fried Chicken. Sing me Christmas songs. Yeah. I don't think it's even going to play, but I, for, I, I'll, I'll spend a quarter for something like that. That's cool. Just to have it in my collection. Oh, you did buy this. For 95 cents, the music of Greece. Sounds of the world recording... From the National, Geogra Geographic, oh, from National Geographic. I'm very curious. Yeah, and it comes with a book, you know. Does it? Oh, yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. Music of Greece. Oh, you suck. Let's give, like, backstory on Greece, history and stuff, maybe. Yeah. Oh, you're a real bastard. I didn't show off the best thing yet. Yeah. Why, don't, why, did I, why didn't I show that off first? I don't know. George Brenson, uh, Breezen. Breezen for 95 cents. We listened to some of that, and it was We listened excellent. to the whole thing. Did we have the whole thing? Yeah. It was excellent. This was, uh... Hot Horse Records. Hot Horse Records. New store we'd never been to, and it actually turned out to be pretty damn awesome. Although, yeah, we didn't spend a whole lot there. Not yeah, a ton. I spent so much money today, I might have to sell Spiker. Yeah. Hint, hint. Mandrill. Just outside of town. I've heard of Mandrill. I don't know why. Uh, where I remember it. I feel like I've heard it. the name somewhere, yeah, but I have no idea. For a dollar, I wanted to take a chance on Mandrill. First song is called Mango Meat. 
Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, part of me feels like I've heard a Mandrill song. I have no idea. Uh, George Benson, Weekend in L.A. for a dollar. Should be good. Ooh, Houdini no, Escape. This yeah. is uh, me reliving my childhood again. This one again. I'm a little jealous about, too. I never owned this one. I had Back in Black on cassette. You didn't have this? But I know the songs. I know Five Minutes of Funk. I know Freaks Come Out at Night. Oh, it does have Freaks Come Out I know out Big night. Mouth. I know Friends. It's excellent. And I know, I know Escape. I need a break. It's not their debut. It's their second one. But for a dollar? I want... And Bill Cosby, why is there air? A lot of these, a lot of these were dollar bands. Yeah, a dollar. In Flight by George Benson for a dollar. You get the George Benson collection. Soul of the Gypsies. You bought this. 101 strings for a dollar. I, I like this. weird stuff like this. Dark Okay, could be, could be interesting. Yeah, really interesting. The world's first stereo scored orchestra. Really. So sad. Uh, Skinny Boy's single. What the hell is this? I don't know. I don't know if that's even supposed to be in there. I almost bought this because I do like the song Skinny. They can't get it. But out. this is their, uh, you don't know that song. That's I do know that song. Yeah? Yeah. You can't get enough. And, uh, Mystery. I don't know what Mystery is. I know Skinny. They can't get enough. The Temptations. A song. Looks like something is torn there. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's the name of the album? It's a song something? Is it on the spine? Uh, I don't know if there is a spine. <laughs> What year is this? Uh, it said on the back, uh, 75. Okay. I like, I like 70s Temptations, because it's, it's, uh, it's not the Motown stuff you're thinking of. It sounds more soul, sounds more funky. That's good. So, one of them sounds disco-y. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, it's called A Song for You. Okay. It was a little scratchy. Yeah, for a dollar. Yeah, I took a chance. I guess this is the cover. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool cover. Another one I took a chance on, mass production oh, you did in the purest this. form. If it's soul, if it's funky, I might like it. So I paid a dollar for it. From 79. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but I'll take a chance. Oh, you did buy this. Tom Tom Club. Oh, I didn't know you bought it. $3. I passed on the single. It's got their song, Genius of Love, which is a really, excellent. Really good song. Oh, yes, it's one of the best. It's a, sa a song that's been sampled by artists. Can't say we know any of the other songs. That's awesome looking. The 45 King. Straight out to crate. <laughs> I know a song called the 900 number, and Somewhere. I don't know if that's on here, but it's, there's got a name non uh, a song called 1 and 145 King. That could be it. Okay. And I don't know for sure. And we love. We we heard Adam and the Ants strip and we it was awesome. So, so now I got Adam and the Ants Prince Charming. It's got stand stand and deliver as a hit my song. Liver. I want to get all the Adam Ant discography now. Well, we Before we get the Hunter stuff, we might as well show I, the big purchase. Okay, at a thrift store for forty dollars, they had a pair of Kenwood speakers, and these are massive. They're speakers. massive speakers. They said if they don't work, we have seventy days, seven yeah. days to return them, which is possible. But then we were at Goodwill, and I needed a tape deck for my component thing, well, so I bought. Well, don't show that yet. Okay. For for ten bucks, I bought this. Maybe I overpriced. I need to put paid. the camera down a little bit. Okay. There. Uh, it's a Sanyo tape deck. There was only one cassette. It was a Temptation buy. Yeah, but we plugged it in, and it spun. So we figured it probably would work. I do know of Sanyo because I have a receiver by Sanyo. But then at the thrift store where the speakers were at, we found this bastard for twenty-five dollars. I, I needed a good tape deck, a Technics, a dual cassette Technics, and if you know anything about Technics, they make good quality they stuff. They make the best turntables. That around. plugged in, both tapes spun. It should work. But it was pricey. It was twenty-five dollars. But it should work. It That's should, why I need to sell some. Should be a now. good tape deck. Yeah. So I might end up with this one. It'll suffice until I. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to find any tape decks that worked. Well, I wasn't anything. expecting you to find a freaking Technics. Right. That's bullshit. Now it's on your uh, okay. stuff. Okay. All right. Well, let's move it over here a little bit. Uh, I'll do my hot horse stuff first because there's not much of it. Uh, splurged, and I ended up buying, finally, a copy of Odds and Sods for 7 bucks. I really wanted it because I want to hear it. It's the Who. It's the Who. And it's demo stuff? I think it's like... Or unreleased it's like stuff. like unreleased stuff or alternate versions or something like that. 
So really, really cool. Six bucks for Gene Simmons' solo album. It's not supposed to be great, but now I have three of the four. I only need uh, Paul Stanley's, and I'll have the whole set for that. Oh, I don't, yeah, I bought this. Santana. Early Santana, too. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I'd be jealous of that. Uh, just called Santana. But, uh, 1971. I'll trade you Top Gun for it. Little scratch, but for a <laughs> dollar. Yeah, you trade me Top Gun for that. For a dollar. Yes. Santana could be great. Oh, great find on my behalf. Oingo Boingo. Don't know if I know much on this album. Uh, What's their hit song again? Only a Lad. Do I know that? They, they had a couple other ones, too. What year is this? 1986. I feel like I should know them. Big Boy Gun Boy Gun fan. For a dollar, I wasn't going to leave it there. I feel like I've heard the songs over the years, but just don't remember who, who they are. Uh, Rob got this recently. I, I haven't listened to it yet. Yeah, I know, but I like the cover. National Lampoon's Missing White House Tapes. I bought it for a dollar. They had a, they had another one, but it was like eight yeah, bucks. Six bu it was the other one you had that was really good. That's not funny. That no, no, sick. no. They had a, they had they had another one. Did they? Was it, it was like it was like eight bucks. Oh god, yeah. They had that's not funny. That's sick too. But that was six. Yeah, it, that was funny, but I didn't want to pay six. Right. It was really good. Uh, this is interesting. Hooked on Rock Classics, the London Symphony Orchestra. I'm jealous. But this. it's got stuff like Get Back by the Beatles. It's got Damn. Baker Street, Ruby Tuesday by the Stones. Layla by Clapton. It's probably not worth much. I probably can pick it up. I paid a dollar, but I'm curious because yeah, I want it. It could be interesting. I don't know how many of these hooked on things there are, but now we have three of them. I have the hooked on classics one and two. And then there's you have a third on, one. And you have hooked on swing. Yeah. And there's a hooked on classics three, which we saw on cassette. Yeah. I don't want a cassette though. And the last thing from Hot Horse, I liked this album a lot, so I bought it for three bucks. At a man's really good. It was good all the way through. So I picked that up. I wasn't expecting it to be good all the way through. No, I you said you only knew the song Strip. Right. And then the McKay stuff where all the money got spent. Okay. 50 Cent's taking a chance on Eddie Money because I like the song. Um, Baby, hold on. Um, a little over two tickets to Paradise, but we'll see. Uh, for my girlfriend, I bought Loretta Lynn and Kanye Twitty. Tom Brown for a dollar. I've probably heard of some of those. Yeah. Or Lynn songs oh, over sure the years. I have too. But, uh. It was good. Yeah, Tom Brown was excellent. We listened to this and it was pretty good, so. It's pretty. like, it's like jazzy hip hop. Early, it's, it's early hip hop, but it has a jazzy feel to it. Okay. In McKay's in the budget section for three bucks, I pulled out Pet Sounds. Yeah, that's a bunch of bull right there. I wasn't gonna leave it there, so. And it looked okay. Because. Three, three bucks. So I my, one of my favorite songs is on there. What song? God Only Knows. Yeah, it's a great song. The whole, the whole album. Uh, I also managed to find Breezin for a dollar. Uh, okay, a little bit of a gamble here. Bernie Topin or Toppin. All I know is he wrote all the lyrics for Elton John. Um, so I don't know what to expect. I also bought the Seals and Crofts. Same, almost same price. Yeah. Mine was 68. Maybe. Okay, splurged, but I'm almost done. I picked up, finally, I picked up 2112. I need a lot more. I'm just starting. I did pay $8, but now the only studio thing I'm missing up to 87 is the one you have. I'm just starting. Caress of Steel. It's like, I don't want to splurge just yet. Yeah. But once I get Caress of Steel and that live one that you have, which I can never remember the name of, I'll have everything through 87. I'm jealous of this, too, but... This is know. almost a holy grail, honestly. Weird Al's debut for 5 bucks. I'm a little jealous. I couldn't believe it was sitting there. I love Rocky Road, uh, My Bologna, My Bologna, Mr. Frump and the Iron Long. Bologna's Bologna. Come he on. says Bologna. Does he in really? The song. I think. He does not. My, yeah, I think he does. Bologna. My Bologna, that's what he Bologna, says. Bologna, not Bologna. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Stupid. But five bucks. Oh, yeah, I did buy a 45. I bought a. Billy Joe Royal, Cherry Hill Park. I like that song a lot, but I have no idea what the flip side Do I know is. that song? Yeah, probably. It's a big hit. Uh, Experimenting with Blood, Sweat, and Tears. I think this is the debut. And I hear them compared to Chicago. But I don't know anything about them, so we'll see. Uh, Triumph, Allied Forces for four bucks. I picked up... Uh, one of their albums at the convention. I can't remember what it's called offhand, but everybody said you gotta hear this one. 
So for four bucks, I bought it. It could be really good, because the one we heard was not bad. Humble Pie, Lost and Found. This is, uh... I'm slightly jealous, because I did like the other one. This is with played. Frampton, and it's with the guy from The Small Face, Steve Marriott. And this is... 1968? I'm not jealous of the next one, because I have it. <laughs> 1969? Is this a live album? This might be a live album. I don't know, but it could be excellent. The cover's pretty cool. And the last one. Really glad I found it, because when me and Rob listened to it, it was excellent. I found myself Hamburger Concerto. My focus. At McKay's. That bass drop in that song. Yeah. Gosh. This this album, you ever, everybody needs to hear this. This is a great album. But I think that might have been it. It's instrumental uh, rock, but it's really good. Yeah, it's excellent. Everybody should hear that. Humble Pie, too. Check out Humble Pie. They're great, too. And I guess that's everything. So uh, we'll cut this off in 20 minutes here. So uh, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching.